Now let's work with strokes and fills. Whenever we create a vector shape within an animate CC, we can choose to input the fill, stroke or both at once. For example, I am going to draw a simple rectangle on the stage using the rectangle tool. Here we have our stroke color which is black and our fill color which is white. In order to draw anything, I either have to unlock these layers or create a new layer. Let me create a new layer. Let me draw a rectangle. Once we have drawn the rectangle, we can see the fill is white and if I click on the fill, I can select it independent of the stroke. That means once selected, I can go ahead and divorce it from the stroke like this or delete it altogether. Let me undo that using Ctrl Z or Command Z. I can do similar things to the stroke selecting little pieces of the stroke or if I want to select the entire thing I can double click upon the stroke like this. Just like the fill I can remove the stroke entirely or even delete it or if I want to select both the stroke and the fill one thing I can do is draw the selection rectangle around the entire shape or I can also double click upon the fill and if I want to modify the shape somewhere let me increase the stroke size and also change the color of the stroke let me increase the stroke for about 5 and the color And also let me fill the color using the swatches. Also I can choose sample color from the stage. There are a number of other options so I can choose a vector brush from the brush library. Also. I can choose a variable width profile. You will notice that the stroke width is drastically altered. I can also choose how the stroke is filled, scale, normal, horizontal, vertical or none. When I turn on or off the hinting you can notice the change here. You can see cap and join. It cuts off immediately round end or square end. As seen here, even adjusting these basic properties provides a lot of creative options for vector arc within Animate CC. Hey guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos and please do subscribe Native Brains.